Hello everyone, welcome back to another Shinoka 2 video. Uh, I really miss high school-ish. And as many of you may know, I moved into college two days ago. Today was my second day, basically my first full day at college. I guess I'll recap a bit of what I did and then talk about why I miss high school, right? So, basically, today I woke up a bit late because I slept kind of late yesterday night. And I just went to breakfast. I sat with a random person. And then I joined another random group. And we just talked for a while. Oh, what's this? And after that, I went outside. I played some spike ball. I just played, started playing outside. And people uh, came and went. And I just kind of teamed up with whoever was available. And yeah, it was really fun. Met a lot of people that way. Then... After that, I went home intending to study, but then I did not study because I have a placement test coming up. I studied for 20 minutes. And then I'm like, uh, what did I do? Yeah, and then I like walked around a bit and then I saw some people, some people came to visit my room and then big group came and then we went to get dinner. I know, it's all just eating, eating, eating dinner. And after dinner, uh, there was supposed to be some sort of party on like a couple blocks away oh what's this but oh i thought that was a ladder but apparently the cops showed up so the party got canceled and nobody had any idea what was going around uh, on so i was just walking around randomly it was honestly really really funny i thought and so that happened and then I came back to my dorm and I played some Exploding Kittens, very fun game. And now I'm here recording this video, right? And uh, I guess I'm not necessarily feeling homesick yet, but I think I can see how I can become to feel or start to feel homesick you know like and this is what I'm gonna talk about cuz I am starting to kinda it's starting to finally sink in that oh shoot I'm not gonna see my high school friends very often and when school starts I'm basically not gonna talk to them that much honestly like it's just really hard it's gonna be really hard to stay in touch and same thing with like it's just, I think in this current state, in college, when, when you're first moving, you're very not grounded, if that makes sense. Like, you are not, like back at home, in high school, right? Oops, you know, no. I, I was at least grounded to something, right? I at least had my family, if not my friends, right? And they could always be there. And while I've made a lot of new friends, they're just people I know right now I don't I know a couple facts about them I kind of can sense their personality a bit but other than that I don't know anything about them right and it's really hard to ground yourself in people that you don't know it's almost impossible to do that and so while it's nice and refreshing and fun to talk to so many people I think I'm not feeling this way now but I think there will come a point where I'm I'll be kind of sad and be like, oh shoot, I'm never gonna have the same, like, level, well, no, yeah, uh, I'm like, not that grounded yet, and I don't know how long it takes, because I feel like with high school friends, and people like that, it's a process that takes almost, like for most of my friends, maybe like six years, or six, seven years, maybe even longer, like, for example, for for a lot of my friends, it, it was even longer. Like, like, you know them since elementary school, that's like a 12-year process. And even, the thing about high school is, like, the first week of college, I feel like it's simulated by, by, like, your first, like, 11, 10, 11 years of school, right? If you stay in the same district, at least, you're getting to know the same people, you know, you're, but, like, 
you, you're put in classes with them for 12 years you just cycle through you half know all these people it comes to that point right uh, as you follow their instagram whatever because you have to know them you know who they are they know who you are right but then in college you start out knowing nobody and in an instant you have to go through that 12-year process of starting to half know people and then you have to d develop friendships from there so that's a really really crazy process i think and because socializing in high school is so easy you know everyone it's so homely and cozy and just like everyone has something in common everyone's from your own town and it's just so cozy like you feel safe you feel warm almost but here you, like i'm not saying it's uh, people are mean or anything people are as nice but it's just not the same feeling of coziness because you just don't know everyone you know you don't have that in common and that's good because it's more diverse it's more interesting right that's the whole point of college but at the same time it's scarier and harder and you know like since i'm past high school now i'm past that point of valuing that more right like during high school i definitely should have valued that closeness that coziness a bit more and talked to more people if i was this social as i am right now in college and during my first week like a ton of those people would become my like decent like gone from half knowing to like three quarters knowing and like actually friends right and so that's kind of what makes me the most sad right now it's not that i'm missing high school it's more that i've realized that the opportunity for high school is so unique like high school itself is such a unique experience i'm not going to find that in college necessarily but it's okay right and i think for college at least the, the strategy is just you stick with the system you stick with the formulaic what's your name where are you living what's your major blah 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 that uh, formula for a couple things you meet a ton of people and then gradually through your classes if you meet them again something like right now in the process is the half knowing process right instead of taking the like 10 years leading up to senior year where i actually started making meaningful relationships to get to know each other right now it's you're accelerating that and then when classes start and you actually start forming groups you're joining clubs and stuff like that then the process of like whittling out the people you truly want to hang out with begins to start i think and that's interesting i have so many things to talk about like how like friend groups are formed and stuff like that because i don't really think i found a necessary friend group people i've talked to haven't really either it's just like a group they walk around it's very like fluid and not concrete it's really interesting um but yeah like i think you could do some really interesting like sociology and psychology whatever studies in college because it's basically a pristine environment where almost nobody knows anyone and like i kind of envy people who like previously made connections or had meetups before because i didn't do any of that because i was being really lazy i kind of wish i did but it's all right so i'm still really excited today was still a really really fun pack day i have my placement test tomorrow i'll tell you guys how that goes but it's just i'm a bit reminiscent on high school you know like you really don't realize how valuable some things are until they're gone and high school is definitely one of those things but i am really happy here i'm really enjoying it i love my roommates a lot they're really lots of fun uh, we're, yeah but that's that's all i really have to say so i don't know whether you're in high school or whether you're in college if you're in high school value high school more high school is amazing high school is so special uh and if you're in college i guess maybe you're going through the same thing as me maybe you're not yeah feel free to comment i don't know whatever anyways thank you guys for watching make sure to subscribe like whatever and i'll see you guys tomorrow all right i'm sorry if i'm whispering maybe i'll try and film these videos like in the morning or earlier so i don't have to whisper and i can talk full volume because my roommates are sleeping right now all right and like we had a meeting today we were like okay don't talk too loud at night because the rooms are not that soundproof which i do believe oh louis pad okay Good night, everyone. I hope you enjoy your day today and tomorrow.